and go and get the spot, no? Because if you don't get the spot, the rider you have behind, he will get the spot. So it's important to go playing with getting the spots and, and, and that's it. Do you know how you play breaking into the corners without like crashing? And like coming out of it with high speed? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hard, hard question, but you need to try always when you break, try to break straight and with a lot of pressure. And when you start leaning, you need to release the pressure, you know? So all the hard braking, you must do it in the first step. And then when you're leaning, try to just release the pressure of the brake, you know? So it's important to brake hard, as hard as you can. But when you start leaning, just try to let go the brake. Because if not, it's when you press it. Cool? I reset it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. How you feeling? Good, you? Getting ready? Yeah. Warming up? Cool, cool, cool. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Good lap time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's good. I finished eight in uh, quality one. I will try to go more fast in quality two. So I will try to be in first two rounds. Cool. You have one more question. Um. So on the starts, you guys really have usually have a really good starts. How do you, you know? The first lap at the start. Yeah. How do you guys get to the front? Uh, in the first lap, you need to be in the first corner really good. Uh, uh, if not, you are not good. It is very risky first uh, first laps because a lot of riders crash in first lap. That's why you need to be in the front and you need to make the start very well. Even if you are in Moto3 top 10, is enough. If you are in 10 position, in the start you can jump to 5th position, you know? And this, for Moto3 is not a big problem. <laughs> Cool. Nice. Nice. Okay, so this is Sean Kelly and he races in Red Bull Cup. There you go. Um, what are a few things you've learned from the Red Bull Cup? Red Bull Rookies Cup, well, it's very hard to, uh, category, as we can see every year. It's been improving quite a lot. You know, the times are really close, so it's really just learning on how to get the best out of yourself. You know, it's a really, really hard mental game, but uh, step by step, you know, you get closer to the front. So it's just uh, in terms of learning how to be with, you know, fast riders and, and, and just applying, you know, everything you've got, but it's been nice. Yeah, I got one more question. Okay. Um, so in corners, when there's a lot of people, how do you usually yeah. manage that? Like, it's uh, pretty freaky. Yeah, it is. It is freaky. I mean, you start, you, you you learn it. You know, as we were just talking about. I'm pretty sure that's why you're just asking this right now. But it's good. You know, it's it's good to, to, to try and apply these things. You know, it's going into a, a corner with 20 riders by your size is not something you learn from from one day to the other. You know, so it's sticking everything step by step. You know, is what we were just talking about. You know, trying and, and be the smart rider, but not also the one that just gives up a position just because. You know, so uh, just taking everything step by step. Be a smart rider. You know, learn everything step by step and. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think we're just happy to be here, us Americans out here. So yeah, it's nice, and, and sure. I hope you.